Hello YouTube. Let's take a look at a whole bunch of GTOs and we'll compare some and crack open some new Hot Wheels. Uh, these are all I think 1970 Pontiac GTO. This one's a 69 so 69, 70. They're all uh, they all look to be uh, the 69 70 they look to be uh the judge pretty sure that's what it is is the judge so the hard tops are all 69s the convertibles are 70 so we'll go ahead and crack a bunch of these open first up take a look at a, a couple i have open Got a chrome one. Looks amazing in chrome. Pretty sure this was from the Cool Classics, which is weird because I uh, only have that one and this one from the Cool Classics. Of course, this will go right in the burgundy car collection. Any other GTO? I probably have four or five different color variations in the Cool Classics or the Hot Wheel Classics. So I don't know why the 69 is harder to find in the Cool Classics or in the Classics, but it seems to be. It's amazing in Chrome. So here's the same one 69 Pontiac GTO Judge. It's really cool in the Hot Wheels delivery. It's like a flat black paint. And this is one of my favorites. Probably because I've bought it two, three, four times at flea markets. Every time I see it, I like get excited to find it and I buy it even though I have it. I don't know why. I even like the orange base on it. Kind of matches the orange stripes. So I can't decide which GTO casting is my favorite. If it's a 69 Judge or the 64, 65, 67. I, I don't know which one. I, I like any GTO. Doesn't matter on the year. I do love the Judge. Love the shape of the body on the Judge. So I got... Brought out some other ones. Uh, these are the other Hot Wheels convertible. Looks pretty good in this green. And then we have it in red, burgundy. Then these ones are kind of goofy. They're old Johnny Lightnings. I'm not sure what year they're from. Uh, if I had to take a guess, they would have came on a card like this. So they would have been from... It's always so hard for me to find the year on these old Johnny Lightnings for some reason. 1994. So, these here will be from 1994, Johnny Lightning. Pretty goofy how they designed them and made them. But I got three of them. White, blue, and green. They do have opening hoods. I don't like how they made them a high raker. Uh, some sculpted detail under the hood. So they like made them a high raker. I don't know if that was so you could store the little chip that came with it, or I don't know why they did that. But the stance is the worst part of these, and they're out of they're out of proportion. 
big time. They're the smallest ones out of any of these up here. I got M2 and green light we're going to take a look at. But for something you can pick up for a couple bucks at a flea market, it's not bad. They don't look bad together. It's a GTO. It's no matter how goofy or retarded the casting is, it's hard for me not to pick up. Hold on one minute, guys. Just wanted to show you proof that if it's a GTO, it doesn't matter on the casting. This one actually looks pretty good. This is a big time muscle from uh, Jada or Jada. Had to pick it up because it was a GTO. Pretty nice stands, but it's huge. It's the biggest GTO I have in my collection. So, and then we got this GTO. I don't know if they're trying to say this is a 71 or 73 or what year it is. 72, I think. See, 73 Pontiac GTO. I mean, I'm glad Johnny Lightning did it. I'm glad they were still trying to make a GTO in 73. To me, this looks like the Monte Carlo casting from 73. Or, I mean, uh, Monte Carlo from 73 more than it did uh, the GTO. Don't really remember a 73 GTO. This thing is hideous. But no matter how ugly it is, shout out to Johnny Lightning for doing it. That's the only color variation I have it in. And then I got this old Johnny Lightning, probably from the early 90s. And uh, another one that has this goofy thing on the bottom. Makes it like a high raker. Darn near grinds on the bottom. The convertible, I think, looks a little bit better than the hard top. Not a whole lot, but it's a GTO. Just gotta have it for the collection. Then I got two matchbox here. Now the matchboxes got suspension. They're not really to scale, they're just goofy. They're kind of short, they're kind of fat. And compared to the other ones, this one has Rubber tires, real riders, plastic base. Pretty cool though. Happy to have it for the GTO collection. This one I really like. I've seen this one several times for sale at flea markets and stuff. I like how it says GTO. I like the livery on it. I like how it's black. Those are my only two Matchbox GTOs, at least from this era. This body style. And then I uh, got a couple M2s. Which them two, I mean, wow. They do a heck of a job on this. It says a Pontiac 455. My camera would focus, you could see it. Pretty cool. Of course, you get plas plastic base screwed together, rubber tires. I don't know if the hood opens or not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try and pry it open on this. It should open. It sure seems like it would. Yeah, M2s are too fragile. I'm not gonna bang on it anymore. And then we have this one, which is a little heavier. Has a metal base, still screwed together. Skinnier tires on it. So this one says it's a 1969 GTO, made in 2010. This one was made in 2009. And it, too, 
is a 69 GTO. So they, I guess it's the same tooling. Almost seems like a different tooling. This one's a lot heavier having the metal base. And it has opening doors. Which actually open and close really nice. Still, I love any GTO I can get my hands on. Especially the M2s. I mean, wow, they might be the nicest ones. Of course, green light's hard to beat, but... So this is a green light 1970 Pontiac GTO. This one's in gold with a black top. Some of these hardtop GTOs can be hard to get from Greenlight, and uh, they didn't release it a whole bunch of times. I bet less than 10 times they've released it. So, you are able to go after them all. Then you, it comes in a convertible version. Which I think this is 71 convertible painted headlights Krager style wheels look very real detailed back end eh, interior head or mess could always go for more detail on the interior that always really sets them off. It's another green light, green tab. I think this came in a two pack. Thought it came with that one. Maybe it didn't. Looks really good in this blue. Krager style wheels. Really detailed. Green lights. Definitely feel heavier and better built than the M2s. Yeah, toss up between the green light and the M2 right now. And then the last one I green light I have. It's in gray. Krager style wheels. Awesome. Love it. I am got trying to go after every uh, green light GTO there is. Then maybe I'll try the M2s. Uh, the Johnny Lightnings. It's impossible. Just get on eBay and look up Johnny Lightning GTO. Uh, I bet four, six, eight thousand of them will pop up. 10,000 of them. Uh, it, it is crazy. They don't have that many different ones. It's uh, a lot of repeats, but it is just crazy how many there are. I do have three more Johnny Lightnings. I'm not going to crack these open. I've had these for quite a while hanging up above my GTO shelf. I would like to crack these open. So I got this one in blue. These are 1971. And then I got this one in brown. Krager style wheels. Quite good. And then I have a white lightning of this. For a long time, this was my only white lightning in my collection. And still, I only have a couple white lightnings in my collection. Most everything in my collection, uh, chase-wise, is either a super, a green machine, or an ultra red. So, I only have a handful of white lightnings. This was my first one. It looks really awesome and white with the white tires. So, put them back on the wall to hang up. 
and uh, I know this video is dragging on and on and on, so we'll hurry up here. Got a 69 Pontiac GTO in Burgundy from Hot Wheels Classics. These have been hanging on a peg, waiting to be opened forever. Some of them, probably two years hanging on that peg, waiting for me to open them. Of course, this looks amazing in this red uh, paint, Spectro Flame paint. Get a metal base. And then we have. 69 Pontiac GTO in red. This is from 2005. And it looks like it matches that convertible there. That looks really good. I don't really care for the yellow windshield, but it looks alright on this. Kind of matches the stripe. These two do look kind of similar paint jobs a little bit different and we have one in orange looks good in orange I actually like this one better in orange, but we'll open that one in a minute. This one's from 2009. In case any of you like GTOs as much as I do and want to look any of these up on eBay or something. Now that you get a little, little bit of rear detail on here. It says the judge there, GTO. Nice. Then we have it here in orange. It's a classic GTO stripe down the side. And this was from 2005. I don't know how many times they've released this particular casting, but I'm sure it's been a ton of times. I love to get every variation of it, but I'm happy with with whichever ones I get that I don't have. So, next one is Heat Fleet 2012 1970 Pontiac GTO. That's from 2012. Uh, all the other ones be one year newer than the year I said they were, just because uh, I read the year off the back of the card. And uh, it's always for the year before. So, in case you didn't know that. And that looks really good. I really like them blue flames. The white rims. The orange interior, that's pretty loud though. It's really loud. So now I got three of the convertibles. Which I'm sure they release a convertible a ton of times. A whole bunch of the hard tops. So the early Johnny Lightnings and the early Matchboxes are definitely the worst ones. And here we got in black with the classic GTO stripe on it. And this is from, it says 2005 on the back of the card, so we'll say 2006. I know it's a short card. I'm sorry. That's all I had. If I had one on a short and one on a long card, I would have cracked the long card, but I'm not a card collector. Even though I do have a ton of cars on the card that I have not cracked yet. Some I don't ever plan on cracking. But 
Looks amazing in this black. So there's a look at a whole bunch of Pontiac GTOs. Comparing a few brands. Let me know which is your favorite brand, which one you choose, which is your favorite car here. Let me know down in the comments. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to leave comments. Have a good one.